Und jetzt fragen wir sie ab. So, okay. Ihn haben wir. Ihn müssen wir noch. Have you found my mother? No, not yet. Remember, rumor has it she lives in the slums of the Marais, in the shadow of the Bastille. I found a broken cane. It says Franciscus Antonius on it. Do you know who it belongs to? Well, I never. Yes, I know the owner. And I'm willing to bet you're looking for a certain Francois Antoine. That's right. Well, you'd need to look a little further east, mademoiselle. Across the Rhine for a start. Because this cane belongs, or belonged, to a certain Franz Anton Mesmer. Mesmer, the Prince of Charlatans. Good heavens, it's been a long time since I've heard his name. Five years, to be exact, since your learned commission denounced his theories. It wasn't long after that when he disappeared. Can you tell me more about Mesmer? He was a mystical healer who was once popular with the upper class. I myself attended several of his sessions. You mentioned a commission. The king did not look kindly on the healer's popularity within the court. This led him to appoint a commission from the Royal Academy of Sciences. An institution to which Monsieur Bailly and I have the honor to belong. We were asked to investigate his alleged powers. The experiments that we performed allowed us to determine that Monsieur Mesmer's activities were pure charlatanism. A conclusion that destroyed his successful career the moment it was published. But there was something, Sylvain. A tiny flow of energy that my devices were able to measure. My dear colleague. Must I remind you again that we were never able to reproduce your observations? It was obviously a momentary failure of your equipment. Perhaps. I'd like to be sure of it. When and how did Monsieur Mesmer disappear? The denunciation of his techniques was the start of a long descent into hell for Monsieur Mesmer. He was abandoned by his clients and resumed his research in virtual secrecy. I think he was hoping to perfect his so-called science and restore his reputation with the Academy. A hope that led him to associate himself with that dastardly Cagliostro. God only knows what experiments they may have carried out. In any case, their collaboration did not last long. Monsieur Mesmer left the kingdom overnight to return to his mother country. Why did he leave so quickly? That is a mystery. But those who saw him that morning say it was as if he had the devil at his heels. This is true. He left in such a hurry that he abandoned everything he owned. Furniture, belongings, and scientific equipment. And it seems that Cagliostro has inherited this treasure. Is that so? Well, if what you say is true, that broken cane must have passed into the Count's hands. Yes, it's likely. This adventurer from who knows where is quite the mysterious character. And he has been very busy recently. I've been able to observe him from my apartment, making frequent visits to Rue Saint-Honoré, on the Tuileries side. I wonder what he was doing there. What were Monsieur Mesmer's theories? He is a proponent of a theory called animal magnetism. He claimed to be able to channel a purported universal healing fluid by passing his hands over patients and using magnets. He also cobbled together a whole array of mad devices, each stranger than the last. Unfortunately, despite all his attempts, I don't know that he ever cured anyone. What happened during Monsieur Mesmer's treatment sessions? Oh, they were quite a spectacle to behold. Imagine well-born ladies afflicted with perfectly imaginary illnesses. A dimly lit room where incense has been burned to intoxicate the soul and cloud your vision. Amiable servants, half-dressed, gliding from countess to duchess to the sound of a sensual melody. And the great Mesmer, a doctor with wandering hands, presiding over the wonderful scene. Oh, you should have seen them. Those grand ladies moaning, crying, and falling into a swoon, clinging to that strange tub. Du théâtre, ma chère. Pure theatre. Da glaubt jemand nicht an diese Heilung. Okay, mehr hat er aber nicht, oder? Have you found my mother? No. Remember. 
Nein, mehr hat er nicht. Hast du noch was? Monsieur Lavoisier. What can I do for you? The clues I found at the warehouse suggest that. Yeah. Goodbye, Monsieur. Monsieur B. Goodbye, Monsieur. Mit ihm habe ich nichts mehr. Okay, noch die vier. Monsieur Raymond. Go on, Aegis. See you. Monsignor. What can I do for you, Aegis? Goodbye, Monsieur. Allez, on peut. Can I help you, Aegis? Goodbye. Dann bleibt wirklich nur noch übrig. Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. Na, auch damit belassen. Aber gut zu wissen. Dann sind es jetzt gleich nur noch diese zwei Missionen. Also ah, eigentlich nur diese. Ich kann mir irgendwie nicht vorstellen, dass es schon das letzte Gebiet ist, oder? Es hat sich so angehört, aber die ganze Sachen, die ich machen kann, sind nur im Schloss. In der Bastion, oder besser gesagt. Hier ist ja noch so viel leer. Naja. Suchen wir die erstmal. Hinten. Boah, wie komme ich jetzt am besten dorthin? Ja, es ist, ist schon cool. Ich muss sagen, es gefällt mir wirklich sehr. Nein. Ich konnte mich nicht rechtzeitig heilen. So, ja, jetzt aber. Ist auch aufgefallen, bei der Waffe, wenn ich konnte, sind die alle in Zeitlupe. Komm, schieß nochmal.
closer. You're not like the others, are you? You gave them quite a beating. Madame. Why didn't you come sooner, my cher? Those poor children in the National Guard. They could have used your help. They marched all day on the Pont Neuf. Oh, you should have heard them singing as they marched on the Place Dauphine. They were very brave then. To hear them, you'd think that the king had already handed over his crown. Then what happened? As far as I know, gunfire, the booming of cannons, shouting, lots of shouting. And then, silence. None of the soldiers returned? No. Not a single one. My son. My little Francois. He left this morning to join the volunteers. But he hasn't given any sign of life since. I'll try to find out what happened to him. Madame. Do you have any news of my son? Alas, I do not. Will I never see him again in this lifetime? Madame. Do you have any news of my son? Alas. Will I never... What is the question? Die Waffe ist wirklich mega. Ich denke, da hinten ist einer der Sachen, die ich brauche. Ah, dafür habe ich den Stahlschlüssel gebraucht. Okay, geheimes Hauptquartier und ein Captain.
Zack. Muss ich nur noch hier rüber. Jetzt weiß ich, warum ich sie einfriere. Das erhöht ja mein... Dieses Modul erhöht ja den physischen Schaden um das Doppelte. Das heißt auch das Eis und das Feuer. Und wenn es echt so ist, dann ist das ja wirklich mega. Also die drei, die Kombination aus den drei ist super. Das Fit passt auch dazu. Aber es geht immer besser. Wenn man einmal nicht aufpasst, darf man den ganzen Weg nochmal machen. Und gehen wir erst zu diesem Captain. Okay, den Captain habe ich gefunden. Naja, ich muss nur hier runter.
Okay. Ja, wenn es ist, kann ich auf die paar tausend verzichten. Besser als wenn ich jetzt einen ganz neuen Weg gehen würde. Okay, was haben wir hier? The Garde Nationale wasn't formed spontaneously. All of this was carefully orchestrated. It is high time the Marquis de Lafayette explained himself. Ah, gut zu wissen. Was gibt's hier noch? Ah, das ist... So wird doch alles geplant. Disco Balzrad. Neue Waffe. Oh, hier, prunkvollen Ding. Uh, ist aber eine Menge Verteidigung, ne? Oh, es sind nur zwei Ausdauer für 13 Frostresistenz. Na ja, doch, ist ein fairer Deal. Leider war. Ja, das ist auch nicht schlecht, aber die 8 Ausdauer tut weh. Das tut wirklich weh. Wie viel Level gibt ein? 20 war es pro Level. Hier sind zwei Level. Lieber ein Ausdauer hoch als... Na, das sind mehr als ein Ausdauer. Na, jetzt habe ich wieder weniger. Ich 
Ja, auf die Anime Lizenz kann ich. Darauf kann ich verzichten. Wir fragen ihn erstmal jetzt, was das soll. Warum er uns angelogen hat. Das geht so nämlich nicht. Dann erkläre dich mal. I'm listening, Aegis. You lied to me, General. Now I know all about your machinations. And what could you 